Well, I've been speaking to the Health Minister, Lord Howe, and I asked him why anyone would call 111 when we now know what a shambles it is. The NHS 111 service for the vast majority of the country is performing very well indeed. And I'm afraid the lapses in service that we've seen, which are very regrettable, need to be gripped. So how they much are of in the a very... country is it not working well in? There are only a very few instances around the country, mainly how, how in the much? West Country, in the West Country and on the south and east coasts. That's Kent, Surrey, Sussex, where we've known there have been some problems for some time. I'm confident that NHS England are gripping those problems effectively. So if you live in Kent, Surrey, Sussex and the West Country, don't ring NHS 111. That's your advice tonight? No, it isn't. My advice is... Or, or ring them for not a very good service? You ring... <clears throat> My advice is to ring NHS 111, where you will get a good service. The well, you just said in Surrey, Sussex and the West Country you wouldn't get a good service. For the vast majority of the country, the service is excellent. We have seen some teething problems in those particular areas. Actually, the word we're getting from NHS England is that all the country is now being provided with a good service. How, how did the Department of Health allow these contracts to be so wrong? We were confident that NHS 111 would be well provided across the country, and we were confident for several reasons. We did pilots, which gave us that confidence. We had an independent report from the University of Sheffield, and we gave providers an extension of six months, if they wanted it, just to make sure that the service would be all right. And actually, only two took us up on that offer. So we were doubly confident that the service was the right one and rolled out at the right time. But you ran pilots at a cost much higher per call than the actual contracts, didn't you? Oh, of, of course, the pilots did cost more per call because there were fewer calls in relation to the staff involved. Once you scale up the service, it becomes much more economical. Except it didn't, did it? Because it's now not financially viable for NHS Direct. Unfortunately... So, so, so your assessments were as wrong as theirs? NHS Direct got their sums wrong. And they... you did? No, we didn't. NHS Direct bid for a service at a price they thought they could meet, and they got it very wrong. There wasn't anything to do with the quality but of the service. But you're the health minister. You're not responsible for providing health in this country at an adequate level. Ministers... You're just saying, oh, it's all their fault. Ministers are, of course, responsible, and we don't duck this for one second. Well, what do you... how do you explain the evidence gathered by Channel 4's dispatches programme? Uh, in which uh, a centre manager says they are not providing a safe service at the weekends? I've asked for advice on that because I'm very, very concerned by those reports. Naturally, we cannot have lapses in uh, service of the kind that dispatches are, I gather, reporting. But um, I understand that NHS England have given reassurances that since that programme was filmed, the performance has improved remarkably. And so... I, I, I am confident that Harmony, who are the provider there... How can you be confident when you're saying you're asking for information and you don't actually know the facts in this case? Ministers, you're coming out here to try and provide reassurance on the basis of nothing. Ministers don't run the health service. They never have. They rely on professionals to do that. Oh, exactly. So why are you in a position to tell people everything's fine because in I the have, vast majority of the country? Because I have full confidence in NHS England who are manned and staffed by extremely professional people. Would you allow Harmony to bid for further contracts? Um, Harmony are free to bid for the contracts if they wish to. Just, just... Lord Howe, thanks very much. Thank you.